Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go right ahead. I, um, I have to apologize to my, uh, my dear wife, Deborah. I, I paid an escort service for a date to your show tonight. Oh, uh, and, yeah, yeah. oh great. <laughs> now the whole world knows I'm a <laughs> This is smart stuff. This is, this is the stuff we were saving for Mensa night, but no. Uh. See you here. Uh, this is our good friend and our producer. Is that your full title? Executive producer. Executive producer, Mr. Robert Bob Morty Bob Morton. Thank you. Thank you. Bob, before we uh, get on with this, I just want to uh, thank you for all the wonderful things you've done for myself and the crew and the staff over the years. That's we certainly pleasure. appreciate you. your every waking moment thank in this you. life. Now, uh, how long have we known one another? Uh, Fifteen years. Fifteen years. Yes. That's a, and 15 we're friends, years. aren't we? Yes, we we're are. close very friends. friends. We've pretty much spent every day together for the last 15 yes, years. Yes, we have. Yes, sir. Uh, and, and do you recall, oh, oh, I know you have a little something for us here tonight. I have you? a little something here tonight. <laughs> this is a piece that's a... Uh, uh, Basically, a representation of a day That's in right. my life. It's a day in your life. Yes, a little is. videotape thing that you've put together yes. for us. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, rare insight into the life of this man here, Robert Morton. A day in the life of Morton. Go ahead. Roll it. My day begins with breakfast at Rupert G's Hello Deli next to the Ed Sullivan Theater on 53rd Street. Hi, Robert. Hi, Bob. How are you? Uh, can I have uh, the usual? Yes, yeah, sure. At 10.30 a.m., I lead the staff meeting about that day's show. Wait till you hear this. You're going to love it. You're going to love this one. Uh, then we'll have a top ten list in a second. At 11 o'clock sharp, my tailor comes in to measure my inseam. One more time. All right. As executive producer, I'm always on call to answer any of Dave's questions. Is it a tick? Huh? Huh? And, of course, it's always time to network. Hi, Bob Morton, producer of the show. Yeah, good yeah. guest for us. I'm the host. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry. You I won't do this mutant. again. I'm so sorry. Then it's time to walk Jimmy, Dave's pet monkey. At 5.15, Dave and I go over some last-minute details before the show. Come on. Wake up. Come on. Hey, no, no, no. Come on. After the show, I hit the town with Dave and Paul. Before my day ends, I unwind with the show that's been my life for all these years. It's The Late Show with David Letterman. A Beverly Hillbilly. That's great, Bob. You know, Bob... As I'm watching that, I have two uh, thoughts, two comments. First of all, it was uh, short, yeah. mercifully, I think. Thank God. And secondly, I just don't know how entertaining that was. It, was it, just, it seemed kind of lame. Yeah, it was now, lame. do you recall what you said to me the first time we started working together? Yes, I do. I said that uh, if I ever had anything to do with a piece that was really lame, I would do my best to save it by jumping into a giant bowl of pudding. Wow! <laughs> a bowl of pudding! A bowl of pudding. Well, let's go!
Mom, the backhoe tipped over. <laughs> Paul, get in there. Get in there. Come on. Get, get in there. Get those girls. Come on. Get in there. Get those girls out here. I'll Come go. on. Get in there. Get those models out here. What? Get those models out here. I'll All right. Get the models out. Get the models out. It's very slippery. We got to uh, do a commercial. We'll be right back with White Zombie Kids. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, all of a sudden, I'm not scared of white zombie anymore. <laughs> I just gotta wait till this stuff hardens, and I think it'll be just fine. Oh. Mom, is there any more fudge? <laughs> uh, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, our next guests may quite literally blow the roof off the dump. Uh, they're here to perform a great song uh, from their CD, Astro Creep 2000. Here they are, White Zombie. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Mom, I think the dog is sick again. Uh, I want to apologize to uh, Claire Danes. Perhaps it's just as well she wasn't here for this. Uh, we'll, we'll have her back as soon as it's convenient for her. My thanks, of course, to White Zombie and uh, Siskel and Ebert. Monday, Cindy Lauper and Alicia Silverstone. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Good night, everybody. Orchestra. Ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor. Welcome. Say hello to one of our beloved, uh, trusted, and loyal staff members, Ms. Zoe Friedman. Zoe, welcome to the program. What do you think of that big scary guy going to shave his beard? <laughs> Scary yeah, pretty exciting. Isn't it? <laughs> it is. Uh, Zoe, how long have you been with us? Uh, a little over three years. Uh, what do you do for us here? I'm a talent assistant. And do you like that kind of work? I do. You assist the talent. I assist in talent. I greet the guests. Oh, you greet the guests and I assist in any way you can. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a good job, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, last week on the uh, program, one week ago tonight, uh, we had a videotape concerning uh, Bob Morton's life. What was it, Bob? It was a day in the life of our producer, Bob Morton. We ran it. It sucked, frankly, between you and me. <laughs> it was not that good, and Bob felt so damn bad about it. He says, look, Dave, I want to make it up to you somehow. I'll try and make this entertaining if I possibly can. And as a result, Bob, well, here, roll the videotape. This is what Bob did to sort of solve it. That's right. He jumped into a giant bowl there of pudding. Go. There goes Bob. Be careful. Yes, sir. Into the... It was a magic moment for all of us. God bless you, Bob. Now, 
The reason Zoe is here, after you saw that last week, you found that as a source of inspiration, didn't Absolutely. you? And, yeah. and, and what did you say to the folks at large when you saw Bob do that? Well, I said, um, Dave, if there's anything you know, that I could do to help the show, I'd uh -huh. be more than willing to do it. Yeah, good. That's yes. an excellent attitude. I certainly appreciate Absolutely. that. You would be willing to do yeah. something to help any show on any given night. Definitely. Now, you've had a week to think it over. Have you given it any thought? Have you come up with something that you might do for us here on the show? I did. I decided I'd get a tattoo. She's going to get a tattoo! <laughs> so, earlier this week, Zoe, myself, and the Late Show camera crew went downtown, where you have to go to do that sort of thing, <laughs> and we got this lovely young woman a tattoo. Roll the videotape, Jerry. Okay, Zoe, why don't you tell Jonathan what it is you want? Um, there's a couple of things that I was uh, thinking about. Um, I was thinking of either an Aztec sun. Why would you want that? I think it's pretty beautiful. And, uh, well, does it represent anything? You know, these don't wash off. Do you have Aztec blood in your family? I don't think enough. Were your parents Aztec? No. Friedman, is that an Aztec <laughs> name? Is that a beard or a tattoo? Um, <laughs> just <laughs> teasing with you. There, there's Mickey Mouse Mickey. as the sorcerer. It's a bunny. Now, what would be so wrong with a bunny? Look, a tick. <laughs> the people swatting at your ankle day and night. That'd be endless fun. I'm what about sorry. just a simple Dave? Too bad he couldn't help this guy with his posture. Mm. Do you do any work? Do you do chiropractic adjustments? These are really popular. These oriental characters are really popular. Yeah, we don't want that. That don't looks like a menu. That looks people be constantly yeah. ordering off your ankle. <laughs> any of these famous people here? Well, on the other side here. Why don't I open the door okay, and careful. step around? Oh, jeez! Oh, oh, God. Call the lawyer. My favorite joke. Who's that? That's, uh, that's Johnny Depp. Oh, that's yeah. Johnny Depp? Yep. Yeah. Johnny Depp. He's trouble. You can see it right there. Yeah. Now, here's a good looking guy, with or without a tattoo. <laughs> Huh? Am I right? Jeez, right. look at the f on that guy. I got drunk one time. I got the one. I can't remember. Wow. Yeah. Let's go for the sun. Okay, you got it. Yeah, yeah. Just take the edge off. Thanks. Go ahead and finish it up. Jonathan, do you mind if I wear a pair of gloves as well? <laughs> Suit yourself. Do uh, you have some? I feel just like O.J. <laughs> <laughs> First time I've handled your leg. I hope you don't mind. I'm kind of enjoying this aspect of the procedure. Hi. Hello, Zoe. On-camera fondling. Are you all right? Let me know. The stench is unbelievable. This is sort of like what we did when mom wanted her mustache removed. <laughs> Same kind of deal. <laughs> we had to get her full of malt liquor, too. <laughs> she looks 20 years younger. <laughs> Zoe, is there any chance now that you'll change your name to Sunshine and spend the rest of your life living in a van? Do you draw, do you paint, yeah, do you I sketch? Yeah, I draw, I paint, yeah. I sketch, I figure skate, I do it all. <laughs> <laughs> figure skate. There it is. That's the finished deal right there, huh? Which one is it? This is it one. Right here. Here we go. There you are. Thanks. Thank you very much. Nice Thanks. job. Zoe Friedman and her tattoo, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Okay. Don't forget, we got a guy shaving backstage. We'll uh, do a commercial when we come back. Julia Roberts will visit. Nice to see you, folks.